here I am. I'm here. I'm just here. This is who I am. Take it or leave it, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christina and we're back for an intuitive reading and this one is for Carrie or Kari. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but thank you Kay for your patience in this reading. I'm going to use the Work Your Light Oracle deck, which I haven't used on my channel in quite a while. Definitely feeling it. Definitely feeling this card's energy. So let us see what is here for Kay. Okay, so what we have is a little bit of a shuffle shuffle, this card. I'm excited, I haven't used this deck in quite a while, so it'll be interesting to see how the points come through. The last time I used these cards, it felt a, a, a bit still airy for me, like not as rooted and grounded as the other decks that I have, so, um, and I think that more has to do with me than the actual deck, um, but, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? This, uh, this is this is that point of your complete self, honest, like no, like unapon unapologetically you, standing so clearly within who you are that it doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It doesn't matter that you've changed. It doesn't matter that people don't understand. It's that point of you knowing who you are through and through that you can stand by who you are and you can stand by your words and you can stand by your expression and you can stand by your decisions and you can stand by the direction in which you're giving your life. It's that point of like, so I don't know if this is something that needs to be done or something that you're in the process of doing. Um, but it's that point of like, I, it's like, I'm clear, I'm clear on who I am. I don't need other people to direct my life anymore. I don't need to give up my power to other people to influence me or tell me what to do or tell me where to go. Um, that's kind of what the sword represents for me is your power and taking it back. And what I mean by that is that when we see ourselves as inferior to something, when we hide from things, when we feel like we're less than something, we've given our power to that thing. We've separated ourselves from who we really are and we've placed our power, our ability, our insight, our self-love, whatever, we've placed it in someone else saying that they are the authority, they know better, they know more than me. They have the answer. They know more than me. And it's like, no, no, no. You have everything you need inside of you to direct yourself accordingly as what's best for you. And ultimately, when we're living that point of I know who I am and what I need and what I require and how I'm going to express myself, when we're clear in that, you're doing what's best for you. And in turn, you're doing what's best for everybody because you're taking responsibility to ensure that you're not looking outward for answers. You're not looking for something outside of you to tell you or guide you or, yeah, you know, obviously we can find support in people. And the dimension that I'm talking about here is that point where we become dependent on other people, where we need, we think and believe that we are lacking something and so we need others to fulfill this aspect of ourselves. So, so it's that point of realizing and remembering that you are whole in who you are and you're fully capable, fully able, um, equipped like everybody else is to direct yourself to who what is actually best for you. Like you have the authority and the power and the ability to assess and discern within common sense what is best for you. And to be able to know what it is you need. What is it that is going to support you to feel the most fulfilled in your life? What is it, what, what supports you to feel the most joy in your life? What is it that gives you that feeling of like, I'm, I'm, now I'm living. Now I'm being true to myself, now I'm being real with myself, and now I'm alive. It's that point of no one can tell you outside of you that what that is. That comes from you. So it's the point of 
taking back your power, standing in your point of like, I know who I am. I know who I am. I don't need other people to tell me who I am or what's best for me. I'm able to discern that for myself. And I can tell based on how I feel what is actually good for me, you know? So it's just that point of realizing like, uh, especially as women, I think that we so much look outside of ourselves for validation, for appreciation, for confirmation that we are who others want us to be. But it's time for us to decide and define for ourselves who it is we are and to not care what anyone else thinks about that because I have to live with myself. You have to live with yourself. You're the only person you're going to have to answer to at the end of your life. And so are you going to be satisfied with who you are? This is such a good card. This is so good. It's the power point. It's that point of this, this, if there's any sense of insecurity, inferiority, weakness, um, meekness, like thinking and believing that somehow you're not capable of knowing something or assessing something, or you don't know what to do with yourself, or you don't know where to go, or you don't know what decision to make. It's to let go of all these beliefs that are diminishing you and making you believe that you're not capable and remembering that you are so freaking capable of doing anything you decide to do or who to be like you have that freedom to also choose who do you want to be you can be anybody you're not subject to who you've always been you're not subject to what people think you are only if you accept and allow it like that's the power that you have it is through our acceptance and allowance and what we think and believe to be of ourselves it's how we perceive ourselves in the world around us that we exist within those limitations so are you limiting yourself in terms of realizing that you have the ability to make up your own mind about things to you have a very unique voice and perspective about things you have every um your perspective and voice and contribution and input is so freaking valuable equally as everybody else and so it's that point of like are you really standing within the power that you have in terms of this is me I am here this is what I think this is what I see here is my solutions this is what I can contribute this is my expression and there's no worry about if that's okay is that appropriate it doesn't matter you have the ability to discern I know who I am, I know what's in my heart, I know what I want to give, here I am. Unapolo unapologetically, here I am, I'm here, I'm just here, this is who I am, take it or leave it, baby. You know, it's like that point of like, I, it's, some might like you, some might not, but not having any fear and not, not giving up your life to what other people think of you. Because it doesn't matter. At the end of it all, it doesn't matter. And I guarantee you, you ask anyone who is on the on the brink of their death, um, who have lived, you know, decades and decades, they're going to tell you, stop caring what other people think. Your life is short. You have just a moment in time here. Embrace it fully and find how to be true to yourself. Find out how to get to know yourself. And one of the ways I can suggest this is by what is it that you really like doing? What is it that's really fun for you? What is it that brings you a lot of joy? And do that as much as you can. As much as you can. Where where are you the happiest? Where what is your happy place? Where are do you, where do you feel the most joy, full of life, inspired? Where is that space? Doing what? With who? And do that. Go there. Be with that person, you know? Like it's so important because this is your one life and you deserve to have the best life possible for you, according to you, according to what is best for you. And only you can decide that and determine that. Oh, this is such a good card, Kari, Kari, K. I'm so glad that you allowed me to read you because you have opened this point and allowed this to come through and that's amazing and I'm finding so much support within it and I know other people will too. So well done. Um, let's see what the book definition says. This is also the last card in the deck, which is kind of cool as a point of like the finale, the period, the this is me, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no room for 
wavering or second guessing or doubting. I'm clear, this is me, this is who I am, and I'm gonna just live myself fully as I see best for me. So that's kind of cool too. It's like the final point in the deck, you know? You are here for a reason. You are being called to bravely pave a path. Have you answered your highest and deepest calling? Living a heart and soul led life is not a fluffy and smooth sailing. It's not all fluffy and smooth sailing. Living a heart and soul led life requires courage to triumph over fear. So often our fears are the gatekeepers to our greatest gifts. And the more resistance we have towards answering the call, the more important it is to our soul's growth. Sometimes fear is an indication that we are facing the right way. Joan of Arc was known for her courage and her famous line, I'm not afraid, I was born to do this. But the thing about courage is that it is not possible without fear. So if you are feeling afraid, what is needed is courage. And courage comes from living from the heart. Think of your fears as opportunities to expand rather than things that are holding you hostage. If you look at your fears in the light, then as uncomfortable as it might feel, it's actually a sign that you are on the right track. Question have you answered your deepest calling? So yeah, it's truly that point of what is in your heart? What is it that you long for? What is it that you want to do, but you feel like you're not able to do, or you feel like you just don't have it in you to go for that thing? Because it seems like, it's almost like here's you and here's your utmost potential. And you see this thing that's like you're drawn to and you're being called to do and you just would love to be able to do this. But there's this gap between the two. There's like this great divide that truly is just fear that you have to walk through and you become the bridge to that point of like, I know that I'm able to create and live and embody this point that I see and do and express this thing that I would like to do and express. I'm capable of that. It's in my heart. That's why it exists because I can do it. And so it's like, you just have to take that step and create that path and become the bridge to the point of like crossing that divide, which is just fear. It's just fear that stands in our way. So don't be afraid of what people think. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid of what's in your heart. Truly honor yourself and honor your voice because in doing that, you become a living example for other people to show how we actually change this world by changing ourselves, by gifting ourselves to live the best life that we see is for us and we show other people how they're able to do that as well. So, Oh, so good. If you have questions or comments or want further perspectives, um, definitely let me know. If you have anything to share about this, I would love to hear from you. So you can share it in the comments or you can message me directly. But thanks, Kay, again, for being open to me reading you. This is really, really enjoyed this reading. So take care. Thanks.